71-year-old Jack Sullivan enjoys working in his garden, a pastime he doesn't take for granted. Following spinal surgery, Jack suffered incredible pain, so severe he could barely walk or stand. At the time, he was training to become a Roman Catholic deacon, and he feared he would not recover in time to be ordained. After five days of excruciating pain, he prayed to 19th century Cardinal John Henry Newman. It doesn't have to be complicated to bring heaven down to earth. If, please, please, Cardinal Newman, help me to walk so that I can return to classes and be ordained. Jack describes how he felt hot. A tingling came over his body and he instantly felt no more pain. He called out to the nurse to tell her what had happened. She said, well, let's try to walk. So she moved the walker over. I said, I, I don't think I need that. I do, and she gave me the cane. I thought that I would like to grab the cane, twist it around like Charlie Chaplin. Um, but I didn't need the cane. I just started to walk normally out of the room. Cardinal Newman will now be beatified in his native Birmingham by Pope Benedict XVI when he visits the UK later this week. Beatification is the first step to being made a saint. Jack's story prompted the Pope to declare his quick recovery a miracle. It will be a particular joy for me to beatify the Venerable John Henry Newman in Birmingham on Sunday 19 September. Some medics have been sceptical of the miracle healing, but Jack is in no doubt of the Cardinal's intervention. He holds a lock of Newman's hair as a keepsake. He's always with me. I don't think he's ever left me since uh, that last time uh, uh, when I got out of a hospital bed. Um, he's been an inspiration for me. Jack hopes to attend the beatification ceremony. It's the least he can do. After all, the Cardinal apparently answered his prayers. Ilse Temple, The Associated Press.